Hey there survivors, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drone Blade Productions, bringing you a bit of an update. I have been incredibly busy this season. I've had a ton going on, only a little bit of which you guys know about. I've been doing some commissions for people, of course. I've been doing some movie work, actually, working on a couple of different productions. I've been doing some stuff for myself, my own work. And of course, I've been getting things ready for the museum. This has included packing up stuff, trying to get the place ready, actually moving stuff over. And it's been like multiple trips a day, every day for weeks. And still, everything's not quite over here. And unfortunately, everything was not quite set up in time for Halloween. I did the best I could, mostly on my own, with packing up and moving the stuff out of my house. Luckily, I was able to get some help from my friends Gavin and Dylan, who came and helped me move the large, just massive glass and metal display cases that would have been impossible to get by myself. And at this point, I've got pretty much everything here and we're still setting it up, so not quite ready. But I just wanted to show you guys and tell you about some of the stuff we've had going on this season. Because almost every weekend, I have been here at the Lucky Rabbit, and I guess really I've been here almost every day, even when they're not open. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we've been working on this season. So for those of you wondering, the Lucky Rabbit is both of these buildings. It's technically this giant historic building, this giant historic building, and all the area in between. And I'll tell you about this first since we were out here. Just the other day, we hosted a massive viewing of Scream on a large blow-up projector, and it was filled with hundreds of people all throughout here, all on the streets completely free to the public, no ticket sales were done, no money was collected. I think we had a food truck here, and of course there's like the popsicle stand and that's about it. Otherwise, completely free to the public and people had a blast. Beyond just showing Scream, my friend Steven and I actually dressed up in a couple of my nice ghost face robes and we were kind of like reenacting parts of the film as it was happening, uh, just jumping out at different points, taking pictures with people. It was a great time and everybody had a great time. It's definitely my best experience as ghost face. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a walk in the front door and show you this. Check this out. A life-size version of the Myers house. A front facade of the entire house. Now, I did not build the house itself. This was done entirely by the Lucky Rabbit team. However, this Myers mannequin is mine. The coveralls were done by Jimmy Falco, mask done by Jimmy Falco, Trick or Treat Studios knife. And the rest of this was all decorated by the Lucky Rabbit. They built this entire thing for photo ops for people and it is absolutely amazing. We did throw my Halloween 2 pumpkin up here just for time being. I didn't have a Halloween 1 pumpkin. And I know technically for accuracy's sake, it's supposed to be on that side, but most people are taking vertical photos here next to Michael. So we put it right here. We got the Strode Realty sign. And yeah, guys, this thing has just been amazing. I love it. They will be keeping this up through November and December, and it will be changing. So it won't just be the Myers house then. In December, it'll be a Christmas thing. But still, it's pretty awesome. And at some point we will go ahead and revert that back to the Myers house. We're not gonna destroy it or get rid of it or anything. I'll just show you guys a little bit more of the Lucky Rabbit here. Some of the Halloween stuff they've got set up. And this is just, yet again, one building. Upstairs, there's not a whole lot right now. But as for here, just a glimpse of some stuff. And right under the play place, right in this area, all back here and through that door, that's where the collection's going to be. I could give you guys a sneak peek, but I'm not going to. We'll save that for another video. But yeah, that's the inside of this building so far. We've got that awesome Myers house set up. Then we have Max from Stranger Things floating outside, which is a really cool display. And I did do the arms for her, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, show you guys just a little bit more. This place is so cool. Genuinely, whether you're a horror fan, just a fan of Americana, nostalgia of any kind. I mean, this place has got it all. They've got all sorts of candy and stuff. Up here near the front, I've got one of my ghost face costumes on display so people can get some nice photos with it. This is not the screen use costume, of course. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and walk on to building number two. All right, here's the Max from Stranger Things set up. Check that out. You've got her floating there under Vecna's curse. We've got a bit of like a makeshift graveyard. It's kind of pulled down right now because it's technically after the season. We've done all the Halloween stuff we're going to do. They usually have a full Stranger Things set up, but right now, Vecna is here at the bar. 
This is the life-size Vecna that I made. All of this work, except for the head, was cotton balls and latex, and that's it. Over here, I've got several spirit animatronics throughout the place, but that, that's the animatronic I want to talk about. It's a massive mechanical dog head that was used for some sort of commercial and was being sold locally. This building is three stories tall and they have an old school shaft elevator, which is really creepy. And they had an elevator ride going all the way up. They had some spooky stuff happening on the third floor, mostly lights, fog, and uh, like some TVs set on static. And then in here, we have the candy room, not very Halloween themed. However, I was thinking about possibly setting up the shorty animatronic and the Killer Clown's cotton candy cocoon in here. I mean, since you've already got Ronald and it's got giant popcorn and it's just full of candy and the cotton candy cocoon is cotton candy, I feel like this would be a pretty good place for it, even though it's not really horror themed. Though you still have some creepy stuff around. They've got most of the lights off back here, but they've got all sorts of like bones, funeral stuff, just all sorts of crazy stuff. And back here, there's an animatronic I might set off. No, is the light even on? It's not. If you come visit, be sure to check behind the candy room under the stairs. They've got the lights off back there now, but it's pretty creepy. They've got all sorts of taxidermy stuff, wet specimens, stuff like that. Of course, you can see some bone artwork here. And of course, what I'm sure a lot of you would like to see, and kind of loosely scream related because of Jenna Ortega, we have the Wednesday Adams room. Or I guess it's not really just Wednesday's room, it's also her roommates, but I'm sure for many of you who have seen the Wednesday series, this setup looks pretty familiar. And this is one of the things that Lucky Rabbit is most well known for, and one of the things that made me fall in love with them many years ago. It's setting up these awesome sets where you can walk in, get photos, and it feels like you're actually in a part of the TV series or movie, whatever it may be. One of the first things they did was the Stranger Things house, and then they did an upside down version. They've done all sorts of different stuff since then. Of course, Christmas Vacation, Shit's Creek, just tons of stuff. But right now they have Wednesday in the back corner of the grocery building. And of course they have Michael's house in the front of the first building. You guys see this really creepy sliding metal door? Does this feel like it has a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes? I sure hope so, because behind that door is where the full collection will eventually be. We're gonna have a year round Halloween shop back there. There will be some like walk around interactive environments, kind of like the Wednesday room. Who knows what we'll set up back there, but there's gonna be a few things. And of course, the collection. You'll be able to come see my collection, buy masks of your own, maybe other Halloween merchandise too, and maybe even check out some cool sets and get some nice photos. Now, I didn't show you guys the stuff at the front of the building, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the stuff in the front of the grocery building now. But check out this chair. This thing is so cool. Of course I love it. It looks like an 83 Cesar mask. Not exactly the same sculpture, but close enough. If I could get it, I would try to figure out some way to make a bucket come off of this and be a dome over it so you could sit inside of it. Maybe even have it lit inside. Such a cool chair. Anyways, you guys don't care about my chair ideas. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at some more cool stuff. Here is the life-size Demogorgon. And we have an alien invasion set up here with a Mars Attacks alien. Over here, we've got all sorts of drinks and candy and novelty stuff. So whether you just have a sweet tooth and want to walk around and enjoy the ambiance, or maybe you want to buy some cool old vintage stuff, the Lucky Rabbit really does have it all. And there's no telling what kind of crazy stuff we'll have set up when you come by. Just whatever you do, beware the rat. Beware. Well, there you have it. I didn't show you guys everything. Some stuff's already been taken down. Some stuff is upstairs. But I just wanted to give you a glimpse at some of the awesome stuff we've got going on with the Lucky Rabbit. Yet again, just a massive thank you to the Lucky Rabbit team and everyone who came out to have a great time with us. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope to see some of you in the future coming here. Thank you for watching it again. Love you all and see you next time.